Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? No! No! It can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So they... they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, 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 they're just using you for... for uh, what the hell? Are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me! It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake! I'm counting on you.
What's wrong? Snake! Snake! Huh? Who's there? Chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the package? <laughs> 